play with backing tracks and sound professional? If you're curious about that, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Donna Schwartz from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to bring your saxophone playing up to the next level. I had a really great question from Anthony uh, this past week, and the question's this. Donna, I must ask, how do you play with backing tracks and sound professional? With a band, you can end the song whenever. With backing tracks, you have a specific or a specified amount of time. What if you end early? What if it ends while you're still soloing? All right, well, here's the real question behind that. It's this, knowing how long your solo is. All right, and here's my pretty quick answer to that um, really good question. You need to really know the tune, okay? You really need to know the form of the tune the A section, the B section, you know, the, the, um, the whole head, the head, the A section, the bridge, uh, any other types of things that are in there. You really need to get to know the form. Now, how do you know the form so well? Doing a lot of listening. Listening to either one version many times or listening to a whole variety of versions so that you get a different take of how people do it. Now here's the other thing also that will help you if you decide to use backing tracks. And that's this. When you purchase your backing tracks, and there's plenty of resources out there. I have some listed um, in an article on my site at Donna Schwartz Music. You could also search my YouTube videos for that as well. But after you purchase the backing track, well, sit there and write out the form of the backing track. You need to know how many times you're going to be soloing. You need to know if the head's going to be, be played once or twice in the beginning or once or twice at the end. You need to know if there's an introduction, if there's a special tag on the ending. So basically you need to do something what I call front loading. And I learned that term from Ramit Sethi, who's one of my mentors. Front loading is basically doing all the work beforehand as opposed to just winging it. Okay, so when you see people playing with backing tracks, they've done that kind of work. They've analyzed the tune, uh, they've analyzed the form of the tune, they've listened to it, you know, a variety of, of uh, interpretations of that tune many times, and they've also worked out, not their improvisation, but they worked out their understanding of the chord changes, what the chord changes are, and then they've also listened to their purchased backing track and they have figured out what the roadmap is for that. So that's my really big answer to uh, Anthony's question. Now I have a lot more specific information on how to do this in my Jazz Improvisation Explain course. If you want access to that, it's not open right now, sorry, but if you want access to that, sign up for my free newsletter on my website at donnaschwartzmusic.com and you'll be one of the first people to know when that course opens up again. Okay, so this was a super quick answer to a really great question. I hope you got a lot out of it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.